Hey everyone, this is ZachTech108 here, and I'm bringing you another video. In this video, uh, we're going to be playing City Skylines, and I've been playing City Skylines for a while, uh, but I've never like made a video of it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just just build a city. Uh, I already have an idea for the name. I think we're going to call it Flandersville, but we just got to find a map, not load one. We need to find a map. So we got Foggy Hills, Cliffside. Bay, Grand River, Blackwoods, Green Plain, River Run, Shady Strand, Island, many others. Although I kind of do like these uh, ones that kind of have a coastline, mainly because of the beaches. And then they do have just a gradual slope, so like building a harbor is much easier to do. Um, but we could also build in one of these snowy trains. I mean, I don't really play those ones much, mainly because uh, I'm not a big fan of the snow, but the, I, I did like the trams that came with that expansion pack. Um, let's see. Maybe we might go with the Two Rivers map. They don't have a ship connection, and I kind of want a ship connection. This map is a pretty fun map, but the cliffs here kind of make it hard to do a uh, harbor of some sort. The river run here does have. I think we might go with uh, Sandy Beach. And uh, we're going to call it Flandersville. Tropical theme. No, we're not doing any of our custom. So I, I will have some mods on, but uh, I will be playing with money. So. Okay, and here we are. Here is Flandersville. So, I mean, right off, we need to start building some residential areas. Ooh, don't have access to much roads. Um, so I guess here's what we'll do is connect there and build down from here. Actually, like right there. We'll build to there and then we'll like branch off from here. So one thing I, I like to do is I like using the grid system. Uh, because it, it's it's very efficient to use the grid system to uh, just get things done and I think we'll just upgrade this road here to two lane because it, it will be a pretty busy road and then we'll just come off the highway here Holy cow. What the? Yeah, I do need the curb. Yeah, I don't want it to curb. Um. Yeah, here's up. This one is a straight one. Okay, there we go. We got our entrance in. Now just need to do a bit more. Go down there. 
there and there. Yeah, I think we'll do two more layers. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and plop down some residential stuff along the sides here and right there and there and there because I don't want to keep the main I don't want the main road to be busy with people trying to get on and off the road to get to their houses so and we're gonna need some plumbing as well so we need to plop some pipes down which way okay so we're gonna do our sewage right here so the water so the sewage flows down that way And then we're just going to connect right there. Um, guess we'll plop some wind turbines just out here. Okay, and there we go. We got people moving into Flandersville. <laughs> Here are some of our first residents, right here, as they move in, and I'm going to change this radio station to something better. Okay, um, so now we're getting some demand for commercial and for uh, industry or offices but we don't have access to offices yet uh, so I'm gonna rezone this section to be businesses so that they're just right along there and then as far as of access oh, no I think there's some ores right here because the ground is colored a bit differently <laughs> Um, so I think we're going to build our industry just over here. Um, sure, why not? Let's go there. We'll go in like this. Yeah, that was off. Do one more right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Uh, now we just need to get some plumbing. I like how I kind of just one broke a bit. Um, right, let's hurry and get this area zoned in. And then, can I do taxes? No, I cannot. Let's put this on fast forward so we can start making some money and get more people moving in. Because right now we're actually losing money and we'll be broken a few turns. So, yeah. Um, come on, people, move in, move in. We're, we're just about to be broke here. Oh, I forgot about the power over here. Oh, I don't even have enough money to do that and I can't get a loan. Okay, we're, we're almost in the green. Well, yay, we're in the green now. <laughs> okay, uh, now I just need to make enough money so I can connect the power line. There. Okay, we'll just wait until it uh, 
gets us enough money. It's gonna be a lot though. Maybe if I do it in sections. Right there. Let me wait again. Kinda have a bit of demand for more houses, but I think there's still some zonable areas. Okay. And we have industry connected now. Yeah, we still have areas that houses can be built. Um I think what we'll do, because I just got this. Call this Main Street. How do I do this? This is like the first time I've used this mod, so... Huh. I guess it's mainly more for freeways or something? I don't know. demand and it looks like all the <laughs> house spots have been taken up so we'll add some more houses it looks like it's raining in the game do like two more layers <laughs> and I don't have enough money now come on get me some money get me the money get me the money <laughs> not enough money again Okay, now we got the roads built there. Now we just need to get the pipes connected. Beginning is always like you're you're just waiting on the money. But you need to build your city up. But it's kinda hard to do that when you don't have the money. So Yeah. Okay, we got more house houses zoned. And just in time, because uh, look at that demand, holy cow, that's a high demand for residential areas. Yay, we're a little hamlet. We have access to a landfill, elementary, and medical clinic. So, and we can raise taxes. I'm going to do that now so that we can make money. Okay, taxes, taxes. Uh, we're going to go up to 11% on everything right now. 11, not 12. Mainly because they don't really complain when it's 11%, but when you start going into like 12, 13%, they do kind of start to complain. Uh, and we have more money now. Yay! More money. We love money. Um, looks like I'm going to wait for all that to get built up, but we should probably plop down a landfill. I'll plop it down right there. Uh, and then let's pop down an elementary school because then that will make uh, our residents want make make people want to move into the city because uh, we'll, we educate our citizens. So yeah, because I think that also raises land value too. Very back to the land value. Outside connections. I'm trying to remember what, what all these are. There's leisure. Don't have leisure. Pollution. Don't have pollution. Wind over there. The noise. So it's kind of noisy right here, but that's why we put the businesses right there. Traffic. Oh, I can't look at the traffic right there. Um, well that's. Yeah, I don't see land value. I see citizens' happiness. So it looks like our citizens could be a little bit happier. Um, 
Electricity's fine, water's fine, education, uneducated 99%, educated 2%, slowly increasing them. So, yeah. Don't have high school or universities yet, but we'll get those eventually. Oh, there's land value. Yeah, I don't have access to land value. <sighs> this game's so limiting at the beginning. <laughs> Most of the area has been zoned in, so I'm going to be building some more roads. We'll go down here, and then build there, and then just build off from here. The Brontosaurus. For millennia, these gentle and graceful giants roamed the earth, grazing off the lush vegetation of the time. Their mere existence transformed the landscape and made a lasting impact on our world. It's that legacy that Dino Oil is proud to continue Dino by using oil. their eons old dead bone goop to fuel your five door wagon. Making five it the doors? oldest form of recycling there is. Dino Oil. Embrace the power of bones. Oh, I thought it was embrace the power of change or something like that. I don't know. Out here, I have a question you know, something you silly like that. Do you ever wonder how the mailman delivers mail to the whole city every day? And what about when the mail comes from another city and he has to go get it before bringing it here? I can see why stamps are so expensive. Anyway, if you're listening, mailman, this one's for you. Saddle up in the mornings with Jimmy and the Stallion, the only morning show featuring DJ Jimmy Fry and a four-year-old quarter horse named Clover. America's this is Jimmy Fry's favorite establishment. Or like, sort of, whoa, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like someone's horsing around. <laughs> Looks like there's a thunderstorm okay, going okay, on right okay, now. Easy, so. easy, boy. Hopefully you don't They'll get any fires. Oh, it looks like it ended. And laugh their way through your um, Jimmy how much is this? Because we probably do need a only on get a medical clinic so that our citizens will have, will will be healthier and such. This is so ten thousand. Oh, we can't place one. In the universe. Um, I think we'll pop it right. There, it's like right in the middle. Look at how happy everyone went. Everyone got really happy with that. Can I buy more land? No, I can't. I need to get more citizens. Oh, and we're almost to the next milestone. And there we are! <laughs> As I was looking at it. Now we can buy more area, and we can plop a police department and fire station. And we can also have new policies. Ah, uh, that's nice. And we can do a second loan and district specializations and service policies. And we have access to the unique buildings. And we can do districts. So, yay. Um, now I'm wondering as far as which land to get. So if we get over there, we'd have access to the highway, so we can modify the highway connection to the city. Um, if we have access over here, we have access to the beach, but we kind of already have a small portion there. I mean, over here is mainly water. I think we'll purchase this area, just so we have control of the highway, or freeway. that if traffic starts backing up here, we we control it. Okay, and looks like over here we also have a highway connection, so we can even like have another highway over here the, just to like get these people quicker access over here. I don't know. Um, we also have a rail line, so maybe we should move our industry over here, possibly, uh, just so that we could get that connection and I should probably plop a fire station down. Actually two. Plop one right here and then one over here in the industry. Now we don't have any. We're also gonna need a police station soon too. Um, now let's see. 
if we move the industry over here, then the industry has a more direct line to the highway. And then they also have the railroad access. I think we might do that later, uh, but it looks like right now we need to get more people to move in. Because look at our demand for houses. It's like skyrocketed. I know, I know, you guys don't have power. There, now you'll have power. Looks like the crime's pretty high, so we're gonna need a plop police station down soon. <laughs> are the police stations. 12,000? Jeez. Uh, you can deal with crime a little bit longer. Six thousand more, <laughs> and then we can buy a police station so that we can defeat crime in the city. That we should just hire Batman. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we got our main street going on here, and then we have our industry connection road here. get in our next upgrade. Tiny town. Canals and parks and high school. Oops. It for the most part. Match security. School's out. Subsidized youth. Almost there. The Brontosaurus. For millennia, these gentle and graceful giants Oh, we can buy a police station. Oh, off the lush buy a police station. Um, we're popping right there. Existence transformed the landscape and made a Yay, police station. On our world. It's that legacy that <sighs> oil is proud to continue. By using their I think we're gonna do dead bone some group to districts. fuel your five door wagon, making it the oldest form of recycling there is. Dino oil, embrace the power of bones. Ah, tiny town, yay! L here. We can now build a high school. Does. Do you ever wonder how the mailman delivers mail to the whole city every day? And what about when the mail comes from another city and he has to go get it before bringing it here? I can see why stamps are so expensive. Anyway, if you're listening, mailman, this one's for you. Last year, Horse Economy 3 smashed PC sales records and took the industry by storm. Now, the hit equine economic simulator has a new expansion that delves into the cutthroat world of real estate. Horse Economy 3, Stable Markets. Can you work your way from lowly horse to be the head of a major real estate empire? Can you spin your holdings into a billion dollar conglomerate? Can you work your way under the fence and out of your pen and onto your life as a property mogul? Spreadsheets have never been hotter. Pre-order now and get a free horse hat. Horse Economy 3, Stable free horse Markets. Hat. Buy low, sell hay. Dinosaurus. The only restaurant with the servers are dinosaurs. Our animatronics are so real, you'll think a T-Rex is serving you T-Bone. 
A pterodactyl is okay. you teriyaki. We're gonna plop that down a uh, high school so that we can get our citizens educated some more in the lovely world of high school education. Or I just plop down a second elementary school. You can dine in or dine there we go. There's our high school. In the universe. How many citizens do we need for that? 2,000. And it looks like we can build more. Although we are running low on power. Uh, and water's probably about the same as well. Yeah, power. Water's fine. Power we do. I think we need to do a coal power plant, but that's 19,000. I don't even have enough money to plop down pipes, but then again, I didn't have it on fast forward. So, <laughs> yeah. It's funny how it's just this outer edge that's doesn't have power. I think our industry's taking most of our power. <laughs> then again, we do have a lot of houses, so yeah. Um, how much is it for another wind turbine? Six thousand. And we need 19,000 to plop a coal power plant down, which will have 40 megawatts. Yeah, we're going to do the coal power plant because we can get more power out of that. Uh, I think I might take out a loan just to do that. Okay, so we got a loan, so now we're going to plop down our power plant just over here since there's already pollution over here. Boom. Should resolve our, all of our power problems, yep. Power problem resolved! And here we are, Flanderville, slowly growing. Looks like uh, this business, Organic Foods, needs some employees, but with new people moving in, I'm sure they'll find someone to work there. <laughs> have all this land. Not sure what to do with it now. Oh, and I also gotta expand. This area here. <laughs> Do we have any specializations? Nope, and I need to fix that. Okay, uh... What type of policies do we want to put in place? Um, don't want to do the schools out because, yeah. Parks and Rec, Winter Plaza and Parks, envy of the country, moderate increased land value around Parks and Plaza. Probably do that one, and then we'll get some parks placed down. Here's some fun parks. We should do. Oh my gosh, that's a big park. Um, this one have yeah, park with large playground. Base already occupied. Oh, it's because it's got. Oh, we'll place more this way. There. 
then we'll place another one over here by the high school. There, now we got a little bit higher land value. Um, am I able to do... No, how many? 7,000 citizens. Wow. I got some more people moving in that are a little bit higher on the land, va land value scale. Holy cow. Lots of residential zoning now. That's what is being demanded. Well, let's give it to them. Let's do some more houses. All back here. We'll zone in. The city's growing pretty quick. No one's complaining about garbage. Then again, the trash is only 4% full. <laughs> General store. Looks like our commercial area is doing pretty good. Might make a commercial district. In a different area, maybe. Maybe like just right here we do a commercial district. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll zone this area for commercial. I'll go like four in. We'll do boom. commercial property. Gotta fix up power. <laughs> and then we'll dezone this and rezone it for housing. Knocking out power to this area. I mean, what's going on? With that? I mean, seriously. Okay, so now we got our businesses being built over here so that we don't have as busy road along there. Oh, they're gonna need water. Oh, they kind of need to have water. Looks like our industry uh, area has grown. There's now more things over there. I think we could do like one more row of housing over here. I think we'd be able to. Oh yeah, easily. They're not gonna like the freeway, that's not too far, but hey, more housing. <laughs>
like this city's radio station that they have. I mean, the music on it is pretty good. <laughs> Even though it does repeat quite a bit, but hey, it's better than nothing. <laughs> something. It says it's a pharmacy, but it looks like a strip mall. <laughs> There's a food joint. Convenience store. That is definitely a fast food joint. BBQ. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a Dairy Queen of some sort. <laughs> Looks like uh, we have some people not looking for jobs over here <sighs> how soon until we can pop offices 7,000 residents for that as well geez it's gonna be a while until we can get 7,000 residents Town. And uh, if we want our citizens to, you know, have some recreational use <laughs> of certain substances, uh, we definitely can, although I probably won't. I will probably, however, encourage recycling so that we don't have as much garbage, and we have access to a ton of ro roads now, <laughs> holy cow. And we can do some um, other stuff, like cemeteries and do buses, which we might do. Uh, I also will probably pop down some emergency shelters and uh, the radio tower in case we get some natural disasters like tsunamis or tornadoes or something up here, <laughs> since uh, it could definitely happen. Uh, radio tower. That right there should cover everything. And then pop it right next to the, the schools. Right there. We should cover about everything. Um, and then let's see. I don't want to do evacuation rounds.
we got money flowing in. We should probably repay that one loan that we uh, took. There, it's repaid. Um, we should probably pop down a graveyard. Uh, otherwise we're gonna start having dead bodies up here out of nowhere. <laughs> um, water's doing good. We want to do some mass transit. I mean, what does our traffic look like? Okay, so most of our traffic congestion is along this road here. So if we upgrade this road into here, then I think our traffic problems should go down. Thinking here. If we upgrade it to a two lane road. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that should help reduce the traffic problem a bit. Road maintenance depot. We can buy more land. Um, I think I might buy over here so we can start expanding back here with housing and such. Which, uh, speaking of which, we should probably upgrade like this section of road. Well, I need to move my police station. But yeah, we're gonna upgrade this road. Apparently my fire station was also on that road. So move the fire station in one as well. And upgrade. Um, I'm also thinking, because that's a lot of intersections that we need to... Expand this way a bit, like two more or something. I don't know. One, two, three, so yeah, two more. Don't 
you want money for nothing? Yeah, you do. What's the catch? There is one. Anyone who wants it can have it. You just have to ask for it. Our three-day sleepaway camp is the perfect place to strike it rich. Who are we? Well, we're the number one dream makers in the region. And you are a motivated, driven, confident individual who has a desire to make it big. Run! Don't walk! Get your heart rate above 120. This is exciting. This offer is just for you because you deserve it. Come alone. So don't wait. Come the early alone. bird catches the worm, and the worm is a bus at 143 Industrial Way that leaves at dawn. So grab Destiny by the horns. Go on, grab it. It's yours for the taking. Money for nothing. Hello, I'm your host, L, and you're listening to Cities Radio. Sometimes I like to check our listener emails and see what people are talking about. Here's one. L, what are you doing this weekend? Well, I don't have any plans, really. I think I might go to the zoo again and try to communicate with the animals. Last weekend, I was close to a breakthrough, but a cow kept telling me to move and I lost my place. <laughs> what are you listeners going to do this weekend? Drop us a line and let us know. Maybe I'll see you there. A cow kept telling her to move. At Sternberg, our cars are more than just hunks of metal that take you from point A to point B. They are also composed of industrial plastics, polymers, and rubber. We also know it, but in so the since we just added that area, we need to... Concept. And that's why it can also carry up to 300 kilograms of human, animal, or consumer goods. Redo content. the... The climate control device brings the air temperature to 22 degrees Celsius. It's our way of making our cars comfortable for the... the evacuation routes so that we can have... In fact, it is a perfect vessel for transport from short to medium distances. Routes cover that the price we are asking this area. And we'll go down this way. Consumer. Sternberg. Oops, wrong More side of the street. An outdoor. Want that side. And then we'll work our way up. This is City's Radio. I'm L. You know, like the letter. And work our way down. And then back up. And then back down this way. Boom. And then I can work on this evacuation route. Pretty much I need to redo it in some sense. Have it come up this side. Okay, I think that will cover the evacuation routes. In case of anything that happens. Um, I, I mean, Flandersville. It's growing. But I, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I think in the next video we'll continue expanding the city and then kind of start focusing on certain specializations or trying to to find different districts, you know, the business district and where everyone lives, and then probably work on moving our industry from here to over here so that they have a more direct line. Uh, then, yeah, I think that's where we're gonna go, but yeah, here's Flandersville. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video. Uh, and also don't forget to click the like button, uh, it makes me know whether or not what I'm making you guys are liking. So go ahead and click that like button now if you haven't already, uh, and don't forget to comment any ideas on what you think of the city or what you think we could do to the city. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, bye.
Yeah.